In this video, I'm going to tell you what are some of the best gift ideas for audio engineers. I'll link to these products in the video description and comment section. If you purchase through the links, then Real Home Recording receives a small commission for each sale. First up, adapters. Us audio engineers have lots of cables and connections and they don't always match up. So adapters are a necessary evil so we can hook everything up. And really you can never have enough adapters. Sandbags. Here's something that a lot of audio engineers don't usually have, but they should because we put microphones on stands and those stands can tip over either from being hit or from the weight of the microphone not being balanced with the arm. So a sandbag prevents falls from happening to expensive microphones. A label maker. Audio engineers have a lot of cables and when cables get all tangled up, sometimes you don't know what's going to what. So a label maker is a great gift and something that I've been putting off buying for way too long. The Slate Digital ML2 microphone. So basically when this thing comes out, unfortunately it's not out yet. It was supposed to be out by now, but maybe by the time you watch this video, it will be out. Anyway, it models several different microphones. We're talking at least, I believe the last number I heard was 14 different microphones for the cost of $150 even if you pre-order this microphone, it will be awesome. And if the Slate Digital Classic Tubes 3 collection is any indication, they have gotten a lot better at modeling microphones. And this one, it should be a doozy. Slate's track record is really good, so I would recommend it even though it's not out yet. A compressor from FMR Audio. Most audio compressors are $500 or more. These are a lot less expensive, but they're good quality. A pair of reference quality headphones. The ones I would recommend are Sennheiser HD 650, Audio-Technica ATH R70X, or the Philips SHP 9500, in that order for budget. When you mix or record audio, you do a lot of sitting, so a comfortable chair is a must-have. If the audio engineer in your life has a chair that is not very comfortable or is getting old, then I would recommend a Herman Miller Aeron chair. They're very expensive, but if you have a lot of money, then they are great to have. If you're not rich, then there are more affordable options out there, which I'll link to in the video description and the comments section. A fanless power conditioner and battery replaceable line interactive UPS backup. Now, these products can come together, but it's usually better to buy them separately. So the power conditioner I would recommend is from the Furman brand, and they sell a variety of them. The UPS is so that if a lightning strike happens, number one, your expensive audio equipment is covered and... You don't have to shut down a computer in the middle of a lightning storm because if the power goes out or if you have a brownout, then the battery backup kicks in so that you can save your data and shut off your computer. APC, CyberPower, and TripLight are the best brands to get. Links for the exact models that I recommend are in the video description. A gift card for plugins from AudioDeluxe.com, EveryPlugin.com, or PluginDiscounts.com. I would recommend a minimum of $50 because software usually starts around 20 bucks and can go up to even $400 sometimes. So somewhere in that price range, get that gift card. A reflection filter, also known as a portable vocal booth. I'd recommend the CAD Audio AS32, but there are other options like the SE Electronics Reflection Filter Pro and the RLX Mudguard. Speaker calibration software. Fans of Real Home Recording know that I beat this down people's throats, but you know what? I wouldn't be where I am today without speaker calibration software. I started with IK Multimedia's ARC back in the year 2009, and I usually don't mix anything professionally without it. If I do, I'm taking a gamble. Now, ARC is currently in version 2.5 and they released a brand new microphone this past year, the MEMS microphone, and it provides for better measurements. However, 
there is a product that I recommend over it because it is easier to measure and there are a lot more options to pick from, and that is Sonar Works Reference. Reference does cost $100 more, but it also comes with a headphone side of things. So not only can you mix with speakers, you can also mix with headphones. If the audio engineer that you know only mixes with headphones, then it only costs $100 for a license. I would also recommend Waves NX if they do only mix with headphones because it simulates listening through speakers. A DVD or Blu-ray recordable spindle. I constantly have a need to burn data to DVDs or Blu-rays. And if someone were to buy me a spindle, I would remember them anytime I had to record a disc. <laughs> yes, spindles are the gift that keeps on giving. Books on audio engineering. I loved getting books on the topic of recording, mixing, and mastering when I was first starting out. So if the audio engineer that you know is relatively new, then here are a list of some of my favorite books. Home Recording Studio, Build It Like the Pros, Song Arrangement for the Small Recording Studio, Audio Engineering 101, A Beginner's Guide to Music Production, Recording Unhinged, Creative and Unconventional Music Recording Techniques, Mixing Audio, Concepts, Practices, and Tools, Mixing Secrets for the Small Studio, Mastering Audio, The Art and the Science, The Audio Expert, Everything You Need to Know About Audio, and Live Sound Reinforcement. If you have a tinkerer in your life or want to be tinkerer, a cable tester, a soldering iron, and a voltage meter are great gifts. Batteries, especially double A's and 9 volts. I always run out of these things. Even though I have rechargeables, I could always use more double A's and 9 volts. A lot of times, especially with guitar players that use pedals and active guitars, they're great to have around. T-shirts. Just kidding. Audio engineers usually don't care about stupid t-shirts with corny words and phrases on them unless they're the type that normally wears those types of shirts. Do not buy cheesy t-shirts. I've had people buy me cheesy t-shirts and I've never worn them shirts. So don't waste your money. A Pelican case. It's water and dust proof and it can store a ton of things if you buy one of the big casket type ones. Get one with wheels if the audio engineer in your life does mobile recording. And finally, gift cards from B&H Photo, Sweetwater, or Musician's Friend. If you don't know what to buy them, other than a gift card for one of them three specific stores, we'll still love your gift. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other gift ideas that are, you know, in like the $100 and less range, leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you're new. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com. Elfing it up.